Hello, my name is Scott Kenner. I'm the department head of the Civil Environmental Engineering Program. And here our students uh, are taught by faculty in the classroom and have a great academic experience in their undergraduate programs. But in addition to the teaching our faculty do, they're highly involved in research. And this is clearly reflected by Dr. Gadam Shetty's uh, NSF Career Award and he's conducting uh, breakthrough research in the area of graphene and microbial corrosion. National Science Foundation Career Award, I mean, as you might already know, it's one of the most prestigious awards given to the junior faculty. All of a sudden, I heard this news, my program manager, he called me and he said like, now you have half a million dollars. That's a lot of money and I have a plan. So basically this money would go to support the research and the teaching and at the same time I'll have to come up with innovative ideas to enhance the environmental engineering education. The overarching objective of my research is basically to develop next generation graphene coatings to combat corrosion. So all the metals, no matter what metal you have, you could name it, you have stainless steel, mild steel and so on, they corrode naturally. But the problem is some of the aggressive conditions like polluted environment, they accelerate the corrosion process. This particular project is looking at a spectacular carbon material, it's a nano material and it's called as graphene which was discovered in 2010. And the glory of this project comes from the use of this graphene as the coating for the corrosion application and more specifically the microbial corrosion application. So the graphene, it's very thin, it's an atom thick or atom thin material. So you could, you'll not be able to see that material with naked eye. That said, it's quite strong. In fact, it's 10 times stronger than stainless steel. It's hard, as hard as diamond. And in addition, it's an inert material. So the, the microbes, they cannot degrade the carbon material. So we have obtained some preliminary results and it shows strong evidence that graphene does a spectacular job when it comes to point of microbial corrosion. And in fact, we have seen that it was able to prevent the corrosion rates by several fold, even hundred fold, um, better than the polymer coatings. So I'll walk you down to my lab. Okay, so this is one of my other labs. And here we do the corrosion experiments. So we have a couple of potential stats here. We have metrome potential stat, we have gambling potential stat. It's all hooked up to the data acquisition system. It goes into the computers. You could do varieties of corrosion experiments. So basically using this apparatus, I should be able to simulate the field conditions. And then when I say field conditions, I'm talking about these huge metal structures which are being exposed to the aggressive corrosive environment. Okay, so now I'm going to show you some of the um, corroded specimens. That's going to give you a feel for what corrosion means. These are all my students' experiments, so I really don't want to touch anything. If you look at these coupons, you have the mild steel coupon, and it's one of the corroded, I mean, if you, if you look at the circular portion here, it's one of the corroded region. It's because of the aggressive corrosive action. So here, we are trying to get the uh, fractured water, so produced water from the uh, nearby oil fields. They are super saline. They are extremely salty. So the moment the metal gets exposed to this salty water, it's going to get corroded. And in fact, we are trying to see, trying to look at the combination of this salt and the microbes. And eventually we want to test the effectiveness of graphene coating on this uh, metallic corrosion. Microbial induced corrosion almost covers like 20% of the corrosion that is happening. And in the United States, on every year, more than $200 billion has been spent for prevention of this microbial induced corrosion. I've seen a lot of uh, uh, breakdowns because of corrosion. I always used to wonder why things happen like this. I came across a project which was 
carried out by Dr. Gadam Shetty and in it, it was it said graphene has huge potentials as a corrosion barrier. I'm very excited about this project, you know, it's one of the cool projects, it involves a lot of science, um, it brings in the cool concept of nanotechnology into place, but more importantly it's going to solve one of the most technological challenge facing 21st century and as I, as I told you before the problem of corrosion it's a trillion dollar industry um, pretty much uh, the United States it's having lots of problems with the corrosion both in terms of steel infrastructure to name it the bridges and even the military people they have like a lot of corrosion problems so we have four more years to go and if we find the answer I think that's going to make a huge impact to the engineering society. So I'm very excited.